It is Sunday, December 17th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword, which means we've got a big jumbo-themed puzzle, and there's even a big explanation of uh, something going on with this puzzle's theme. Uh, unclear exactly what it means yet, obviously, because uh, it will require solving the puzzle to to understand. But I've, I've left it here for now. I also have a version of the puzzle without it, so don't worry if you're if this has made you think the puzzle won't fit on the screen. This is not one of those days where I've made that mistake. So uh, I do have a version that fits. Anyway, this uh, puzzle that fits on the screen has been brought to you uh, by, let's see, it's been brought to you by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rajishka, and a uh, another new benefactor. So welcome to Dre. Uh, Dre has joined the esteemed ranks of the benefactors of the Daily Salt Patreon campaign. So thank you so much to him uh, for supporting this channel and bringing us this series. I really do appreciate it. And those three, as well as, of course, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family, they all support this channel as benefactors, keep it all going, as do all of the people who back the Patreon campaign at any level. So thank you so much to all of them. Thanks to you if you're a patron. Thanks to Dre for joining up. And uh, if you would like to join in, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find those bonus solves, including uh, in the past few days, the December monthly bonus puzzle from the New York Times and the most recent weekly mini puzzle speed solve. So do check those out. Uh, there's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which is uh, available via the description field link. It's a nice friendly chat community. Do check it out. And then finally, uh, it's a big help as well if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, like the videos, and comment. Those things all help out. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. We're going to need plenty of time, presumably. This is entitled, Get Over It. We'll have to see what it is we're getting over. And um, uh, like all Sunday puzzles, it has a title, uh, unlike the rest of the days of the week. And it was constructed by Jeremy Newton U, who I think has constructed around two dozen puzzles for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Uh, we do have this note, which reads, for seven key squares in the... Oh, sorry, I just actually realized I hadn't noticed this until I just said that. But I can see some sort of pattern in the grid. There's some highlighted cells and then some kind of graphic. Anyway, maybe the maybe the ones with the graphics are the seven key squares. I don't know. For seven key squares in this puzzle, an appropriate rebus will be accepted, as will the single letters from 122 across. Obviously, we have no clue what that bit means. If you're still stuck, further explanation of today's theme can be found on Wordplay. All right, we'll see if I can make it through uh, on my own power. In any case, this is a Sunday puzzle. I, uh, right, I already said all that bit. <laughs> It's constructed by Jeremy Newton, edited as always by Will Shorts. Let's get solving. Let's start solving, I should say. Oh, right, okay. So here's the here are the letters in 122 across, which says apt word spelled from this puzzle's covered letters top to bottom. Right, okay. So it looks like a sort of bridge over a little canal or river or something. It's kind of what that looks like to me. Um, anyway, let's get let's get going and see how we do. Delights, joys, maybe. Son of Isaac. Oh, who is that? Son of Isaac. My first guess was going to be Esau. I'm so terrible at remembering all of these. It must not be. Citizen neighboring three down. Now let me let's just let's just go to the crosses and just go through. Seesaw powered vehicle on railroad tracks. Oh right, you see these in old cartoons all the time. I don't remember what they're called. They may be wireless. Buds as in earbuds? Don't know. Mass approvals. I'm wondering if this means mass approvals. Oh, it's probably amens. Uh, I was thinking, does it mean a group of people or does it mean mass as in a church service? Maybe it means cheekily both. You have a mass of people approving in a church service by saying amen. I kind of like that. Okay, son of Isaac, I don't know. Jason, I'm not sure. Oh, that would allow this to be Joy's, actually. Right, okay, well, maybe we will mess around in this little um, uh, corner anyway. Citizen neighboring three down. What is three down? Neighbor across the Abab al-Mandeb street from Djibouti. So that'll be Yemen, and this will be an Omani who would be, oops, Omani. So a here we have a citizen of a country, here we have a country, but... Uh, 
they're connected through these ge this geographical compound clue. All right. Uh, where Lords Byron and Tennyson studied. Ooh, not sure. Oh, here's a funny thing. Maybe this isn't Jason, because if this was if this were a C, this could be Cambridge University, maybe, and this would be a a bridge. Oh, that's funny. You can't even see it. It's it's literally covered by the bridge. Well, you'll have to believe me that I typed bridge in there. And just to explain what I was doing, if if it wasn't obvious, the that message at the beginning of the puzzle made reference to a rebus, which I didn't explain at the time. But in the context of the New York Times crossword, rebus, if you go into rebus mode, allows you to enter any number of letters into a single cell. So you could type, say, bridge into it. That's a bit uh, small to read, but let's just say we put br. You can read that a bit more easily. And um, ordinarily, you have to figure out when that is appropriate and, and what to put in it. In this case, the explanation in that little preamble sort of made it fairly clear that it was going to go into these cells. Actually, are there one, two, three, four, five? Yes, there are seven of these, and th that was the number mentioned. So I do think this is going to be a bridge, probably, although I don't know what that means down here. Make out in London. Oh, snog. Uh, so that's British English. Right. So we just, oh, we just skip it. We go over the bridge. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Right. So that makes sense, I suppose, in that in the horizontal direction, the way that the bridge is oriented, we're sort of going across the river and the word is continued across the bridge because it's being bridged. Whereas here, the word is actually interrupted by this. Oh, no, I see. The, oh, right. Well, the word's interrupted, but then also we have this little canal that the word is part of. So what does that mean? This is sort of spelling bridge og. I don't think that must mean something else. Don't quite get what's going on with this little little canal, but that's fine. We'll come back to it. Anyway, Cambridge University. There we go. Very good. Okay. So a fairly, actually fairly simple theme to get a handle on initially, but obviously we still don't know what's quite going on. Go bridge. I don't, I'm reading, you know, reading it from the bottom, maybe I'm not sure. Anyway, space heater, the sun <laughs> emits heat in space. Very good. Private meeting, a one on one. There we go. Jacob. What did I say? Oh, I said Jason. Jacob is, I think, who I was thinking of. Maybe not. Maybe I just had that mixed up in my head. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm, I, I am terrible at remembering all of these biblical sort of lineages. Anyway, alternative to Google is Bing, a Microsoft search engine. And then go-aheads could be nods. You give someone the nod, the go-ahead. And then alternative to a cab could be a pino. Right. So my first thought as probably it was for most people, was this is referring to a taxi cab. I think in reality, it's referring to a Cabernet, a wine. So here you have a Pinot, and just as cab is short, a shortened form of Cabernet, Pinot could be a shortened form of uh, Pinot Grigio or Pinot Noir. I don't know which is, I don't know if there's one that would be obvious if you just said Pinot. I don't, I'm not enough of a wine person to know, but one of them will be that. Okay, must. If you must do something, you have to do it. And a failed web venture in slang, a dot bus, the dot, I'm not sure. Failed web venture in slang. So it's not dot com, it's a dot. I don't know. I wonder if I'll recognize that when it goes in. I'm not sure. Drink from the tap could be ale. So the question mark there indicates we're not referring to what you'd ordinarily think if you said that, which is water from the tap of a sink, for instance, but rather from. In this case, you have ale on tap. You know, you have beer on draft. Okay, negative connector, uh, neither this nor that. They often need new suits for work, for short. New suits, I don't know, something about lawsuits, attorneys or something, I'm not sure. So, uh, right, oh, a hand, seesaw-powered vehicle on railroad tracks. A hand car? Not sure. They often need nude suits for work for short. doctors because they put on, you know, medical scrubs or something. Not sure. 
Bay Area startup Mecca, uh, Palo Alto. Okay, this, oh, DA, okay, it, it was dealing with legal action lawsuits. So DA's district attorneys, that makes sense. Okay, so Bay Area startup Mecca is Palo Alto, which is where, um, that's south of San Francisco and is where a lot of the Silicon Valley tech industry is based. Okay, move up. To move up is to align. Why would that be true? I don't think that's right. To slide, hmm, not sure. Oh, climb, climb. And that, that would allow this to be hand car. Maybe it is hand car. So add a girl. Okay, there you go. That is a phrase. And then succession TV family, uh, the Roys, patriarch Logan Roy of the family in the actual excellent succession. So to add as cilantro to guacamole, you could mash it in in a mortar and pestle or a um, mocajete. That's the Mexican equivalent of a mortar and pestle, I think. Uh, hi there, friend. Hey, you. Uh, that could be it. Maybe. Maybe not you, because it could be something else. Maybe friend is there. Maybe, maybe friend is there to indicate something more familiar. I don't know. Well, let's try hey and see. Previously in poetry. Yes. Okay. So error. I saw Elba before I saw Elba previously in a poetic sort of way. Um, I guess what I was just doing is quoting part of a palindrome. <laughs> but you could call that a form of poetry, I suppose, in that context. Uh, anyway, sounds reasonable. I think it's able was I ere I saw Elba. Referencing Napoleon being exiled to the island of Elba, presumably. Uh, anyway, sounds reasonable. Fair, I guess. As in that's fair, sounds reasonable. I think that might be right. Powered by... And the by in parentheses means we're going to apply it to both the clue and the answer. So powered by something, some you know, whatever this word is, by. But I don't know what it is. Sight of a claw machine. Arcade, the machines where you, you know, attempt to lift a toy out of a bin. Left jobs on bad terms, say... I wonder if this will, be, oh, burned bridges. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if this is, if all of these are going to be bridge or if they might be synonyms for bridge, but I think it is, um, I think it is all going to be the word bridge. Sorry, I just put my phone on airplane mode because I'm, I've, it occurred to me, I keep hearing it buzz and I'm worried that that's causing noises in the, in the mic. <laughs> Apologies if that's been happening. Anyway, burned bridges. There we go. They may be wireless. So it could be buds. Remote button. Record. So it's not buds. Wireless. Oh, wireless bras. There we go. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can have a wireless bra. No underwire. All right. Home of the Rosa Parks Museum. Alabama. That would make sense. Rosa Parks, civil rights pioneer. And then powered by, oh, fueled by. Okay, there we go. Siren for one. Um, a seducer, I suppose. So in... Greek myth and the Odyssey, you know, the sirens tempted sailors to cast themselves into the sea famously with their seductive song. Blank, of course, but of course, you might say. And to abominate something would be to detest it. Something's abominable, it's detestable. So biggest club in Vegas, right? The ace of clubs would be the biggest club. Very clever. So there's a bit of punnery there as indicated by the question mark. Features of Russian Orthodox churches, domes, yes, they have those very distinctive uh, onion domes. They're also present in various other kind of religious building traditions. What takes a toll? What takes a toll? Question mark. So obviously this does, this does not mean what takes a toll on you in the sense of what exhausts you or what, what levies a kind of price on you in a metaphorical sense, but rather a toll as in a bell being rung or a toll being paid, literally. I can't see what it is for some reason, but this will be a bridge here. Oh, right, we already have that. The across, it doesn't. The across, we just skip this cell. That's right. Murals or graffiti, e.g. wall art or public art, maybe? No, that doesn't fit because we have to skip that cell. Um, not sure. What about this one? Real dump, a sty is in a pig sty. And then put together, put something together would be to set it. Dump. 
your put together, your set. It could be an adjective or kind of a past participle verb. Um, hmm, not sure. Fad figurine with colorful, unkempt hair. A troll doll? Those had uh, very distinctive hair that was kind of, uh, well, it, I guess it's unkempt, but I remember, it, I don't think I ever actually had trolls, but I seem to remember you could sort of tease the hair into a very straight sort of shape. All right, murals or graffiti, e.g., are, I don't know, might make your hair stand on end. Moose? There we go. Maybe you could apply some of that to the troll's unkempt hair. So, hi there, friend. Maybe it is hey, you. Okay, there we go. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> hey, bud? Oh, yeah, it is. Because this could be then urban art. There we go. There we go. Art you might find in a city environment. What, took, what takes a toll? Not an onus. What is this? I can't see it for some reason. And here we have a dum-dum as an ass. And then Mormon church initials. Oh, this isn't... Oh, I wrote, wrote Hey Bun. That was strange. It should be Hey Bud. And then here we have Mormon church initials. This is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or LDS for short. Okay. I just saw the excellent film, um, The Leftover... The, no, The Holdovers yesterday. Alexander Payne's new film. And uh, this uh, this LDS abbreviation was used in it for a young child character who's a who's a Mormon. And what a funny coincidence, because I don't think I've heard this. <laughs> I haven't heard LDS used in, in quite a while, and it's just now two days in a row. Anyway, what takes a toll? I don't know. Sensational reading material. Sensational reading material. I don't know. And um, some kind of sensational. I'm thinking it's a kind of tabloid celebrity newspaper or something, but I don't know. Maybe it, I don't know. I can't think. All right. Let's jump back up to where we left off in the crosses. Failed web venture and sort. A dot bomb. Ah, right. Okay. I don't think I've heard that portmanteau, but it's pretty obvious <laughs> how, how it was formed and what it means. Practices diplomacy builds bridges. There we go. So that's, that's funny. We have burned bridges and builds bridges. Uh, two essentially opposite uh, applications of the same metaphor. Flabbergast could be to astound somebody. O-R-V-I-P's. O-R. In British abbreviation, that's other ranks, which refers to a, mil it's a military context. Oh no, sorry, it's... <laughs> It's operating, it's operating room, it's MDs, it's medical doctors. Ugh. I was trying to think of sort of some kind of officer core thing, but anyway, ORs is, and it doesn't matter. Uh, that was, that was silly. Okay. It's MDs, medical doctors. We'll move on. Organization that included, that employed W, can't seem to read today. Organization that employed World War II era Donald Duck as a spokesperson. Oh, I don't know. Did the IRS do that? Maybe, maybe we sort of pay your taxes because, you know, the, there's a war on. Seems pretty plausible. How Rubens are made on rye bread frequently. Yes. Boy, I haven't had a Reuben in years. I like a good Reuben. How one might sing an R&B ballad. Um, this is one that will not use the bridge. Yes, it will not. So we'll, let me just put the bridge in. Sorry. <laughs> See if I can just immediately get this. Long story short, abridged. A long story short, is an abridged tale, maybe? An abridged yarn? I don't think you'd say that. An abridged book. There we go. That's what it'll be. Blank. No, it isn't. It isn't. Maybe it is tale. Because here we have oft-repeated. And here we have recreational uh, area. Doesn't fit. Recreational. Not sure. Whales swim in them. Whales swim in pods, these sort of groups of whales. And then here we have au blank menu phase. So I think this is probably au jus, which in French means sort of served, it's literally with the juice. But, uh, you know, you'd see that on a menu and that would mean a meat often served with a jus made from the, the juice of the, you know, the liquid of the meat. Uh, trekker to Mecca, uh, a hodge. 
Hajj is a haji, I guess, because the, the trek is the Hajj. So then, yes, to suffer is to ail. And then, uh, so that's the, the, you know, the pilgrimage to Mecca. Um, choose a sidewalk over subway, say. Hot foot. Oh, well, I, yeah, I'm misspelling things left and right recently. Anyway, uh, hoof sit, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Oh, how one might sing an R&B, but right. I, I jumped off of this to go solve bridge, and then I started confirming crosses. This looks like soulfully to me. There you go. You might sing an R&B ballad soulfully. Okay, great. And again, we're skipping over that bridge cell in the in this version. Life partner. Life partner. Spouse. Right. There we go. I was trying to think of... Often when you see partner in... The New York Times crossword clue, it means a word that goes, it means a word that partners with the given word. So I was trying to think of phrases like life and death, things like that, but nope, not what it is. Count on one hand, question mark. Count on one hand. What is the pun here? To count on one hand would be to trying to, try to think of all different meanings of count and hand and then not coming to any incredibly useful conclusions. So you, whimsically? Oh, is it at two? Uh, long story short, abridged. No, that doesn't make any sense. Abridged. Hmm. You, whimsically? Don't know. I'm not, not seeing this. Let's don't see what it is that fulfills both of these. Hmm. Have to come back to it. Mastodon's defenses. Tusks? Mastodons would have defended defended themselves with tusks, right? Oh, this does look like et two, doesn't it? So so sort of you two or and you, um, which is what uh, Shakespeare had Caesar say to Brutus, et tu Brute, uh, as he was being betrayed. So then what is this? Long story short, abridged Oh, I never looked back at this. Sorry, recreational use. I just I just never even returned to this clue. Okay, sorry. Abridged text. Apologies. That was a big waste of time for absolutely no reason because I just never never looked at this cross when it was filled in without paying attention to it. All right. So count on one hand. 60? Sixth? Count on one hand. Is there... Is a, a hand is a unit of measurement. Is it 60 of something? Oof, I'm not sure. The crown actress Claire. Claire Foy was the first portrayer of Queen Elizabeth in the crown. Okay, 60. So it must be something like that. I can't remember what that is. All right. Long-standing rivalries of our foes or fe uh, feuds. Yeah, the rivalry itself would be the feud. There we go. It's a lot for a lord to manage. A fief is in a fiefdom, so in a kind of feudal system. The Lord would, would have their fief. Declaration upon arrival. I or I'm something. I mean, uh, it's just um, 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 uh, I don't know. Not crazy about that as an answer. Let's see. 1937 Steinbeck novella, uh, novella of Mice and Men. And we're skipping the bridge. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so... Yeah, it is um, um, or I guess, it, no, I was going to say it could be uh, um, but it won't be because uh is in the answer, the clue, sorry, and you won't repeat it. So declaration upon arrival. I'm, I made it. There we go. I made it. That's what it is. Adler who out outwitted Sherlock Holmes. Irene Adler is a character from Sherlock Holmes. There we go. Worn blank frazzle. Worn to a frazzle, I suppose. You could have clothing, maybe. It'd be, it's worn to a frazzle, I guess. Um, kind of threadbare, I suppose. It's to stir up trouble, maybe. It could be to royal. You could royal a situation or people. Let's see. What about this? Don Juan. Oh, a ladies, a real Don Juan, a real ladies man, you could say. And then what's this one? Error of the morning show, get up. I uh, don't know it, but it must be ESPN, the U.S. Sports Network. And then required EMT skill is CPR, uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. I think has a sadly lower success rate than is depicted in film and television. Like the moon in a solar eclipse. 
um, like the moon in a solar eclipse. What is the word we're looking for here? Pro ends in ED, probably? Why, why am I not seeing what this is? Uh, much of it is junk. And como, and maybe this isn't that. Como esta usted? Uh, let's see, that's Spanish. How are you doing? Let's see, what about this? Do the bare minimum. Ah, this little area here is really stymieing me. Crumb lugger, an ant maybe? It's sort of lugging crumbs around? Do the, do the bare minimum is to something it maybe? What was this again? Oh, we haven't seen this. How some Cajuns converse in Creole, maybe? There we go. So Creole language, and then do the bare minimum. Cop it? I don't know why I can't see what that is. Much of it is junk. Oh, oh, rear lit, like the moon in a solar eclipse. Wow, no wonder I didn't think of that. It's an unusual word, but I think that'll be that'll be the answer. Rear lit. Oh, that's 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 clever. Okay, Arabian Knight, Knight's Prince. Ahmed, Prince, is it Ahmed? Let's look at this here. Angsty and brooding, emo, there we go. So unusually, emo not be included as a music genre, the official kind of rock subgenre of the New York Times crossword. I haven't had very many official words recently, have we? I just, just realized. <laughs> Completely made up concept of mine. Anyway, school email ender, uh, edu. Uh, .edu at the end of a university web address. Fast food chain with a sunrise in its logo. All right, is it Del Taco? I can't picture that, but just it's starting with Del makes me think it must be a Mexican fast food restaurant. Sun chain. Uh, some low risk government issues informally. T bonds, treasury bonds. I think that'll probably be right. Let's look at the crosses though. Obnoxiously fratty sort, a dude bro. There we go. Okay, take for blank, to bamboozle someone, to take someone for a ride, to con them, to bamboozle them. Natalie with 12 top 40 hits. Natalie, I don't know, not sure offhand. What about this? Like some economies and moisturizers, oil-based, there we go. That's a good two things to combine, economies and moisturizers. Uh, oh, Natalie Cole? Oh, and here's a bit of the theme revealer. Past disagreements that are no longer of concern, or each block of shaded squares in this puzzle. Right. So we have OG, ULF, see, I mean, it looks like fog, and then ocean, bay, gulf. Right, these are, bo these are bodies of water. Okay. So past a water under the bridge. <laughs> Very good. Oh, that's clever. I see. So now I understand this message here that says, for seven key squares in this puzzle, an appropriate rebus will be accepted, as will the single letters from 122 across. So those are presumably going to be the missing letters from the body of water. So I think they'll probably be, oh, maybe this is a bog. Bog, bay, g, o, oh, maybe not. Um, B Y G O. I guess I don't know what the rest of them are. Oh, bygones. Oh, let bygones be bygones. Water under the bridge. That is what it is. Great. Okay, good. <laughs> very good. Very good. That is how the theme works. All right, we figured it out. So this will be a lake then, won't it? The e is hidden. Oops, I shouldn't have put that in there. I should put bridge in there. I guess we can put the letters in as well. Maybe I'll do that. That'll read a bit better. You might be able to see more of them. So that is a bog. Uh, you, yeah, I mean, you still can't really read it, but it'll be easier to type. Um, this one is the Y from Bay. This one's the G from Gulf. This one's the O from Ocean. Uh, this one's the E from Lake. So this is this will be an N. What is this one? 20, uh, 2000, sorry, 2002 hit song for No Doubt. Uh, it help something? I can't remember. Maybe I'll... I'm, probably recognize it when I see it, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, or have we left off? Sensational. Oh, this was the area. Yeah. Ex expansive. I'm not sure. 
pedicure target. Toe. Do the bare minimum. Oh, coast. Now this would be a star. Why didn't I put that in before? Um, maybe I wasn't sure about the conjugation. 20, uh, 2002 hit song for No Doubt. Panama? No. It's not that. What is this letter again? Uh, it's an N. Oh, and then, and then this one is an S. No, it isn't. Sorry, I've confused myself. B Y G O N E S. But this says brainstorm. Why would that have an S there? Oh, because, it, right, it skips over. The brainstorm is. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm confusing myself. No, brainstorm. ID8 or something? Or. Brainstorm. Is it an idea a brainstorm? Maybe it is. And then the, the, the S doesn't matter. But it's for S. The S is just for C, right? Sorry. I just explained how the theme works and then I completely forgot. Anyway, okay, so this, this is an N. Did I put that in? I can't tell because you can't see anything. Anyway, co star of Airplane and Hot Shots. Um, not sure offhand. Okay, what have we not seen? Olive in old comics. Olive oil um, from the Popeye comics. Spelled with a Y. Go ahead and decide. Malicious mister of fiction. Mr. Hyde is in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, maybe? 1950s school dance. A hop. Um, that's what you call that, I think. And then much of it is... Oh, junk mail. There we go. So what was this? Oh, Lagoon. There we go. We do have our N in there. So, uh, hella good. Okay. I don't think I know that song. Maybe I would if I heard it. I don't know. It doesn't ring a bell to me. Um, okay. Sludge is goo. There we go. Significant piece could be an opus. So a, a significant piece of art that you've created, you know, work, grand work. Go ahead and decide Something to you, over to you, now to you. Uh, I don't know. Co-star of, oh, Lloyd Bridges. Right, I forgot about the bridge bit here. Lloyd Bridges. Um, I don't specifically remember him in, in these films. I don't even actually know that I've ever seen Hot Shots, but uh, I have seen Airplane, and I'm sure he was in it. <laughs> Left quickly without... Um, left quickly without you sort of stormed out you left quickly i don't know sensational reading material expansive i'll have to come back to this i'm not I'm not thinking of those answers sorry about that former mlb, MLB left-handed pitchers jackson and lighter no idea owls eds i don't know a regular in italian clubs question mark A regular in Italian clubs. Boy, this reads like a cryptic clue, but it obviously isn't. A cry for a spell. Cry for a spell. Question mark. Do I think... Oh, alakazam? So a cry in the sense of something that you exclaim rather than weeping. So, and then you might cry alakazam in order to cast a magic spell. There we go. That's a funny, funny word and clue. Textures to me, in my opinion, IMO. Um, I think this is probably due divided by due. So two divided by two would be one uno. I think that's what that is doing there. And obviously, you know, because do is also an English language word with a totally different meaning. You could be misled by that. Here we have lapis lazuli, blue gem pulverized for paint during the Renaissance. There we go. Very brilliant blue color. Okay, Al. Al Jackson, Al Leiter. Okay, I don't recognize the names, but there we go. I think that's probably right. Taking after could be Allah, so it's sort of in the style of taking after this, you know, you could say, oh, I've done it this way, Allah, our friend Jeff, I guess you could say. I don't know. Don't know where that came from. Regular in Italian club salami, I see, an Italian club sandwich. 
There we go. So not a membership club. And the question mark there did indicate that that's what that was doing. Over the line, so to speak, a bridge over the line, a bridge too far. Yeah, there we go. If you've taken something too far, you've got to, you know, you've taken it over the line. Dweller in a tree hollow. An owl could live in a tree hollow. Are you serious? Question mark. What? Maybe. It all makes sense now. Oh, I see. That's how I feel about this puzzle. Unlink from a social media post. You detag someone from a photograph, maybe. Their name, remove their name. Lowly deckhand, a swab on a sh ship, a sailing ship. How ancient mariners relied on the stars. Yeah, that's an appropriate cross here with swab. How ancient mar mariners relied on the stars as a guide. Yeah. What one star may mean in a difficulty rating may be easy. So as a guide, and let's look at these crosses. Cause of a swollen head. You might be big headed because you've got a big ego. And then air or chair run. So if you air something on the radio or television, you air it. And then if you chair a meeting, you run the meeting. So there we go. Illegal car maneuver off in a UE. A U-turn is a very, you know, many places in which that would be illegal maneuver, an illegal maneuver. Okay, shiver in brackets. The brackets means, in this case, we're going creating a sound. We're creating a sound rather than something you say. So, burr, you know, it's the sound of your kind of shivering. Uh, or the sound you're making, but it's not verbal language is the point. Actress Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon, there we go. Cal uh, California's San Blank County, San Mateo County is a ca county in Cal California. I wouldn't expect people to know this if they weren't familiar with, with California, which I, which I am. I don't really know San Mateo particularly well, but I know it exists, which is a help for me here. Allow me to demonstrate. May I, you might ask? Who boy, yeesh. And an office monitor in brief is OSHA. That's the federal, uh, the U.S. federal agency that overs oversees workplace safety. And then barbecue leftovers could be ashes in the actual barbecue in the grill. Okay, in the heart of poetically, midst maybe or something. Operator of the Texas Eagle and Southwest Chief. Uh, those really sound like Amtrak train services. So I bet I bet that's what it is. Uh, in the heart of poetically midst, yeah, it probably is that. Call in a ring for short. Call in a ring for short. Oh, TKO in a boxing ring. So a technical knockout. There we go. Perfectly refurbished could be like new as in a home, maybe. Whoops, whoops. Okay, rescue dog, e.g. an adoptee. Yeah, a dog that's been adopted. So here we have to be an ambassador for, in brief, would be to rep someone or something to represent them. And then left-wing protest group, um, Antifa for anti-fascist. Uh, here we have bitter brew in brief, would be an IPA in India Pale Ale. Don't give up on, keep at. Sport clothing would be to wear it. And now, sorry, I've been rushing through this because I want to get back here and figure this out. Expansive, oh, ample, as in there's ample time, expansive. There we go. Sometimes it help, really helps to just be away from some clues for a while and, and think about them again. Sensational reading material. What takes a toll? 1 p.m. or 1 a.m.? Because the clock would toll? There's something special about that time in particular? Not really sure. But this looks like up to you. I don't know why that didn't occur to me before. Go ahead and decide. Up to you. That's, of course, reasonable. Oh, pulp would be success, sensational reading material. So, uh, you know, sort of, I guess, kind of airport fiction, you could maybe call it, or kind of adventure stories sometimes, or salacious fiction. Um, all right, well, there we go. So then left quickly without, peeled out right. Okay, I haven't been thinking of this being used in an automotive context. So if you peel out in a car, you know, you, you burn rubber because the, you know, your wheels are spinning too fast to catch, gain purchase on the, on the road. All right. So there we go. So that is pulp. That's 1 p.m. Don't quite understand that one, but the clock would toll at 1 p.m., I suppose. So there we go. It was a Sunday puzzle, so a long solve. So it goes. Uh, so that uh, I'm glad to have um, understood the theme fairly early. I mean, it was very heavy, heavily telegraphed. I mean, there was these literal bridge icons over water. There was 
this extra explanation on the page itself. I mean, at least sort of nudging you towards there being a rebus, that was enormously helpful. Uh, then there was, of course, the explainer itself, which reads past disagreements that are no longer of concern, which would be water under the bridge or each block of the shaded squares in this puzzle. And that reminds me, I never actually looked at this uh, clue here where I just put bygone straight into it. Apt words spelled from this puzzle's covered letters, top to bottom. And there we go. They are, of course, bygones drawn from letters in the bog, the bay, the gulf, the ocean, the lagoon, the lake, and the sea, respectively. And then we had our bridge. Clues Cambridge University burned bridges, a bridged, a bridged text builds bridges, uh, Lloyd Bridges, um, a bridge too far, and finally water under the bridge. Yes, our revealer there. Very well, well constructed theme. I mean, not not all too difficult because there was so much explanation and signposting, but just really nicely created, very thorough. We had the bridges, words that involve bridge. We had the way that you know some clues, the glue, the clues that use bridge went over the bridge. The ones that didn't were interrupted by it. Um, we had the letters being hidden by the bridge. They were under the bridge, literally. I mean, just, just really clever and thorough throughout. Very conscientious theme construction. I appreciate when it's this complete and this intricate and this interlocking. It's, it's very well done. So yes, thanks to Jeremy Newton for a, a great Sunday puzzle. Uh, it took ages as always. So it goes on Sunday. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow for the much simpler Monday puzzle. Should solve a lot more quickly than this one, that's for sure. So join me then, but until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.